So I'm Madeline Law, I'm in the Department of Health Sciences and I'm an Associate Professor and within that I'm also the Director of the Interprofessional Education for Quality Improvement Program and so that program is linked to a course that I teach in Health Administration and essentially is a service learning course uh, with the community. So the course that I teach, it starts in third year, so my students are coming in on a bi-weekly basis and what we do in this course is we work with health professionals in the community. So I've pre-identified a number of different projects with the community partners and then I identify a number of students to be in the course and then they choose the project that they would like to be involved in and from there I have workshops together with the students and the health professionals and they talk about the issues that they have in the community and then the students work with them through a set methodology to identify what the issue is, what are the root causes, and then actually engage in interventions and evaluation of changes. So some examples of what these projects would look like might be things like falls prevention, uh, another one would be infection control in the emergency department. A few others are in the community, so one is looking at uh, seniors living in independent uh, housing and some with public health as well. Yeah, so the program started in 2012 and so we're in the sixth iteration. So I've changed it kind of over time. I've understood some of the gaps and the challenges and we've modified it, but it's getting into a nice place where uh, with the course, it's so it starts in third year, but then it goes into fourth year, and uh, we found that over two years, it uh, makes a lot more impact for the students because they really are able to get engaged in the project. So it's in its sixth year, and I think we've had about 150 participants based on uh, Brock students as well as health professionals, and we've engaged in about 36 projects so far. For sure. So I think taking it a bit of a step back, uh, the way in which I visualized and kind of conceptualized the course to begin with was because there was a need in the community around quality improvement. So the ministry had come to health organizations and said, you must do quality improvement. And there wasn't a lot of capacity in a number of organizations uh, to do that. And so how I was able to look at what I wanted my students to get out of an experience. So I wanted them to learn about leadership. I wanted them to learn about uh, change management, to be able to think innovatively and creatively were all the things that I saw as the objectives for this course and I wanting to do that in a practical way where they would actually get a real experience to see how that applied. So I had always been thinking what could I do to really leverage that and so then seeing the need in the community for quality improvement projects that incorporate all of those pieces I saw that as a nice kind of natural linkage with the community partners to create the course. So they create a, a project charter so it's a project plan uh, together with measures and all of those are linked into theoretical concepts or evidence. For example, if they're looking at uh, incorporating a new intervention to make a change, then uh, those need to be based in evidence. So it needs to be based in what, uh, what they're learning and what they're reading academically. And so there'll be a, uh, an assignment for that, uh, as well as a review of literature will be part of that, as I feel that's key in, in their academic learning but as well their uh, participation in the workshops and participate sorry their participation in workshops and participation in uh, meetings with their community partners is another uh, area that they are assessed on as well as uh, a reflection based on the activities that they do in the community and um, I think of something else. Oh, a summer plan. So their projects through the summer continue and so they create a summer plan that's vetted through myself and the community partner as well.